Hello fellow adventurers, my name is Video James, and we're back with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. So, last time we kinda did a bad. Not my fault, Ganondorf had the extra key that he found under the rock, so I, I didn't let him in, he let himself in, so I'm not the one at fault here. Okay, fine, I'm the one at fault. So, last time we actually got the Master Sword and we got into the Spiritual Realm, but unfortunately Ganondorf followed us in there. So now... Hyrule's kind of mucked up, so there's a lot of stuff that we got to go around and fix. But first, there's one important thing that we're going to be doing in this video, and it's going to be an extremely important thing. But now you can see this house that used to be filled with all the pots is now home to this guy. Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Link, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Pose... Like the panda or the Teletubby. Are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyards. They hate the world. I mean, if you see it out there, I kind of hate it too. Young man, if you catch a Poe, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> yeah, so basically, this guy actually used to be the guard that was standing outside of this house. But he turned into this thing, I guess, with the one eye. And now he runs a ghost-catching, selling business, I guess. So, we'll be able to help him out later once we get more bottles. And it's actually a little side mission that we can take care of, so that'll be something that we do. But for today, there's something more important that I want to take care of. And it starts with E and ends with Pona. So... Yeah, Hyrule kind of got mucked up. It may look nice now. It may look like it's all Mr. Blue Sky. He's come here today. But, take a look at Hyrule Castle. You get close to the thing, and everything just goes dark. So yeah, I I'm just going to go the other way, thanks. I, I kind of want to stay away from you. Also, how are you affecting the entire sky when I get out of range, or, but when I get out of range, you just stop, you, like, stay in your area. And then even the sky above you looks almost nice. Alright, but dawdling aside, we're gonna head over to Lon Lon Ranch, and Lon Lon Ranch probably isn't gonna be the same as how we left it. In fact, I can guarantee you nothing is gonna be the same as how we left it, because we kinda left it all mucked up. Also, I don't know if I can bomb this tree, so I'm going to try. Because I know there's a tree around Lone Lone Ranch that you can actually bomb and get a skull tool or something from. So, a bomb. Nope, okay. So, it's dark over here, so I'm going to actually hit the sun song real quick. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And now everything turns to daytime. There we go. Alright. So now everyone in here should be awake. Uh, hopefully, yes. Although it is very kind of gloomy looking around here. Let's see if, let's see if Malin and Talon are home. Maybe they'll give us some free scones or something. Hey, where's the stable boy? Who are you? Oh, a visitor. It's been a long time since we had a visitor here. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of here, kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. Why do I have a feeling I know that this is Talon, or Malin? If I disobey Mr. Ingo, he will treat the horses so badly. So, there's nothing I can do. Aw, she cares about him. If only I could play their favorite song for them. I got you, girl. I'm gonna take care of this. Also, hello, Moo Moos. Hello, Moo Moos. Pet the Moo Moo. Okay. I'm gonna go take care of these horses. I'm gonna help you out, girl. I feel bad for you. And I feel bad for the horses. I'm gonna help them out. 
No horsey should ever be caged up like that. Alright. Hey, Talon, you in here? Did you, did you just sneak back in, buddy? Because I could really use, like, some carrots or something if you got any. I mean, carrots would be really helpful at making friends with horses. Although, if you have some candy canes, that would work, too. Or some peppermint sticks. Either thing, I don't think horses are that finicky. Or just some sugar cubes. I know horses like sugar cubes. Oh, I can climb on the chairs. Go, let me on. Oh, yeah, I'm on the table, too. Hey, let's have a tea party. Let's have a feet tea party. My feet sweat will be the tea. That sounded weird. Forget, forget I said any of that. All right. So now, let's actually hop out here. All right. Now is the time to help this girl cheer up the horses. Well, I can see someone has an ego. That's a little Easter egg I never noticed. Apparently, Mr. Ingo likes seeing his face polished and carved in metal. Also, hello, chickens. Purr like a bunny, purr like a bunny, purr like a bunny. Gimme, give gimme. Give Yay, chicken! I love chickens. They're, they're funny in this game, and they're funny pretty much everywhere. Just because chickens are so stupid. They're stupid, but they're funny. Hey, Mr. Ego. Oh, uh, what, what voice should I get? I'm going to try and give him, like, a Robbie Rotten voice or a Waluigi voice. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch. Wah! But don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I sound like an off-brand papyrus. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. Wah! I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. It is papyrus. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Uh, please define that. If you pay me ten rupees, you can ride. Yes, okay. Do you want to hear how to ride? No, I don't need to know how to ride. Thank you so much. <laughs> now I just sound like a friggin' Skeletor. Hello, horsey. Uh, there's one horsey. There she is. There's our girl. Do-do-do, do-do-do-do-do. Yes, Epona. Come on, come over here, say hello. Oh, there she is. There's the girl. Come here, Epona. Come on, get on. There we go. Let's go, Epona. Oh, I miss this so much. It's been such a long time since I played um, Ocarina of Time with Epona and actually used her to ride around the ranch. Uh, and this is one of my favorite parts of the game, not only because of, like, the like the lighting that they use for the time of day, and the fact that you just get to ride around with Epona, but it's just, it's one of my favorite scenes. That's all I can really say. It is one of my favorite scenes. Come on, Epona. Link, don't smack her. Well, okay, I kind of have to smack her to make her go faster. I'm sorry, Epona. I'll try and only hit the saddle. How about that? Oh, uh, you can't really handle sharp burns, can you? Oh, nine seconds. Hey, Spirit. When did you get here? How's Rain? How's she doing? She doing good? How's your mom? Oh, she died. Oh, okay, um, that's probably not a good thing to talk about then. How's the Native American tribe? You hear from them yet? Oh, he wants to say something. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid ten rupees. You've played around for long enough. My voice kind of faltered through that one. If you pay me ten rupees, you can ride. Okay. Do you want to hear how to ride? No. Shut up. You're mean. You're mean, Mr. Eyebrows. Jesse, how do you get that big an eyebrow? Epona, here, girl. Come here, Epona. Oh, she's scared again. Let's play this song and get some recognition. Epona, here, girl. Come here, Epona. There we go. All right, now let's go show this boy how we do. Quickie Pony, jump the fence. Come on, Navi, turn around. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a wager, say 50 rupees. Okay. Hey, hey, what's the matter? Don't you even have 50 rupees? I don't want to race with someone so poor. Oh, that's right, okay. Um, I forgot I can't get any more rupees right now. Well, wait, I actually can. 
I forgot, this is actually like a rupee farming thing. So, if you're, like, if you don't have the 50 rupees you need, I think you can get them just from, like, climbing around, uh, this thing. Like, climbing around the fences and jumping over them with Epona. Because those give you blue rupees, and those take you up by, I believe, uh, 10. Wow, Epona, you really can't handle sharp turns. Okay, let's go. It might take a second for me to get the rupees I need. There we go, got one. Aha, oh, but I need ten more. Crap, okay. Uh, we'll go one more. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I'm just skipping through all this. All right. Epona, come here. We're on the clock. Ah. There we go. Also, if you play it with the songboard, you can actually see how many notes you play. But if you just play the regular ocarina, you can play as many notes as you want. Epona, here, girl. There she is. Dang, she can run. Alright, come on, get on. Run, Link. Run with those little linky legs. There we go, got one. So now I need at least... Oh, there we go, there's a sharp turn. Hard left, Epona. Okay, we need one more. Come on. Come on, Rupee. Oh, the music's kind of speeding up, too. Come on, Epona. Oh, crap, can I not get another one? Oh, that's crap -oo. Well, I guess I'll need to make a visit to Hyrule Castle. Crap, I don't think the, um, drawbridge chains are functioning either. So I can't get rupees from those. Crap, I'm all out. I only have 48, too. I need two more. That's, like, the ultimate irony right there. Oh, come on, that's... Uh... Hey, time's up, young man. You've only paid ten rupees. You've played around for long enough. Uh, every time I start with his voice, I go southern, and then I remember, oh, he sounds like Papyrus. Alright, so I need more rupees. Where am I going to get more rupees? The fastest place to go to get them would probably be Hyrule Castle. Because that has the, um, the uh, guard room with the pots in it. So I should probably head over there. I... I completely forgot you need 50 rupees to race that guy. Alright, so let's head back over to Hyrule Castle. I'm going to roll over there just to kind of speed stuff up. Also, DS, get back in camera. Thank you. Oh, there's the Hyrule music. Yeah, see the drawbridge chains are going straight down. They're not going at an arch anymore, so I can't really get over them. Oh, hey, look, it's a popo. Or a po. Not a popo. A popo is a thing from Moss Hunter. Okay, so let's head across this river. Link, how are you not leaving wet footprints? That's one thing I kind of wish they did in Legend of Zelda, is they gave him, like, footprints whenever he walked through water and then walked on dry land. Okay, so let's take this out and get some rupees. Let's see, I got... Okay, screw this. Mega sword time. There we go. And that's 53 rupees. Perfect. But I need 60... There we go, a red rupee. That's exactly what I need. Thank you. Alright, so let's head out of here. Actually, you know what? We'll go back in here and we'll try and get more rupees. Because I think I need more for the second race with Epona. Because in order to get Epona, you have to race uh, Ingo twice. You have to race him once just to prove you're a good racer. And then you have to race him again to like beat him completely. Alright, get more rupees from these. There we go, 100 should do it. 100 should be the amount we need, because we probably need... Actually, I don't think it takes 50 rupees if you win the first race. Alright, so let's head over here. Uh, I wonder if I play the ocarina before... No, it wouldn't work. I was going to say I wonder if I play the ocarina out here before finishing the race, if Epona would rush over here, but she won't. I tried it before when I played Zelda the first time, because I knew... That was how you got Epona to get to you in the Hyrule Field and everywhere. But I didn't know you couldn't get it without having the race finished. Alright. So let's go get Mr. Smug Papyrus Mustache Eyebrow Looking Man. And get him to give us Epona. Because he don't deserve Epona. Also, you do realize that you made like things in here for the horses to jump over. And, like, you can just 
have the horses jumping over your fence because they're nearly the exact same length. Epona! Come here, girl! Do -do 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 -do. That's my favorite song in the Ocarina of Time soundtrack. That and the Song of Time. Come here, Epona. That's a good girl. Oh, hey, Spirit's back. Navi, can you focus on him again? There we go. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager, say 50 rupees. Okay. Yeah, see, you have to have the 50 rupees. You don't have to pay the 50 rupees. Go, go, Epona. Now, the key to this is kind of conserving your speed and also kind of blocking him off. Because what he'll do is he'll constantly use, like, all his carrots at once. So what you want to do is you kind of want to conserve yours and stay ahead of him. And the second race is going to be harder because he actually seems to have more of them. But then once you get across a certain point, you can just kind of waste the carrots. Go, Epona! Shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Why was it so hard for you to say that sentence? Like, were you in that much mental pain? I mean, I'm willing to bet you were in that much mental pain. I mean, getting beat in a race by a little kid who has almost no knowledge of horse riding is probably pretty embarrassing for you. Now, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to ever, like, go down to one carrot. Er, go down to one carrot. Go down to no carrots. You kind of want to always have at least one, just because that'll give you the speed boost you need, and especially right around the end, because he starts to get a major speed boost. That's it. Kiss my tailpipe. Well, just kiss my regular tail again. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I wasn't right under your nose, but it is hard to not be under your nose. I mean, good God, that is a big nose. I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I betted on the race and lost. Shoot! Ha 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 ha! As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Buddy, I think you're missing the logic here. That gate, same size as the things you put in there. Epona, show this fool how we do. Alright, so I'm going to get a good run up. And just, I'm going to run around this place. And then I'm just going to kick him as I jump over that fence. Come on, Epona. Let's go. Okay, we're getting the carrots back. That's nice. Alright. Conserve at least three of them. There we go. And then it'll jump up. Yep. Alright. And go, Epona! Aw, she didn't go over. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just back up a tiny little bit. Just a tiny bit there, Epona. And... Curse Bluey! Oh, come on, that's not enough. Alright, let's back clear up, I guess. Actually, let's go over here. Because if I go to the gate, and then I, like, aim from here... Alright. We got this, Epona. We got this. Oh, I'm clear off. Gate's clear over here. No, Epona. Come back here. There we go. Go, Epona. Jump the fence. There we go. Oh, I did kick him as I went over. Yeah, go, Epona. Also, how'd you get up there? And here we go. It's the intro scene all over again. My favorite part of that game. That is gonna be a... That's a thumbnail right there. That's a definite thumbnail right there. Epona, can we jump this? Aw, oh, Epona wouldn't jump it. Alright. Oh my... I love this! Having Epona back just feels so good. I miss this game so dearly whenever I step away from it for a while. Because, like, what I'll do is I'll typically... I'll play it, and I'll get to the part where Ganondorf is the last enemy, and I'll beat him... And then I'll just step away from the game until I forget about it. And then when I come back into it and I remember all the good stuff that's in the game and all the good times that I had the first time playing through, it's just like a nostalgia overload. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. I miss this game so much. Alright, but for now, 
I think I'm going to leave this episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time here. Next time we will actually head over to Kakariko Village because that is actually the next area we need to go to as proclaimed by Sheik. But for now, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We finally got our girl. We finally got our girl Epona. But anyway, for now I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always. And I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.